Hi Pisces, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you a timeless tarot reading. So whenever you find yourself guided or drawn to this video, you're most definitely, um, it's most definitely meant for you, if I could even say it. And um, I do want to remind you in this moment to go ahead and like the video. Do leave me a comment down below about your situation, how the reading resonates, or some emojis if you so choose. And uh, don't forget to, of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. But more importantly, when meditating on your energy overall for the reading, the message that came through was, will you just leave me alone? Will you just leave me alone? So with that said and done, let's uh, aim down and pull some cards. Alrighty, so we're going to start by pulling, doing some initial shuffling to see how many cards Spirit wants to give us from the Gilded Tarot Royale deck. And as I do the initial shuffling, keep in mind this is a general timeless read for the sign of Pisces. Whatever placements you have within your chart, all of which apply. If you're here to hear about a Pisces, more than welcome to join, of course. But due to it being general, take what resonates and leave what doesn't for somebody else. Um, and as well, I am accepting requests at this time for personal readings. So all you have to do is uh, shoot down to the description box below, where you'll see the options, pricing, and my email. Just reach out and I'll get that started for you. Alrighty? And um, let's see here. One more shuffle this way. I feel like a lot of Pisces are dealing with a very noisy, sort of stressful environment at this time, or just certain energies that are not doing it for you, or just rubbing you the wrong way. I'm hearing so rude. There are some, some of you dealing with uh, individuals, energies that are absolutely feisty or uh, plain, uh, just simply rude. Okay? So with that said and done for Pisces, thank you, Spirit. So on that note, do bear with the background noise for Pisces. Wow. Thank you, Spirit. And we got them all perfect. All right, we're going to line it like this. Interesting. With the three of wands at the bottom of the deck, as well as the hermit, I really feel as if, oh, in the Five of Pentacles, you just don't fit in anymore. Or you feel like you're in a situation wrapped up with people who just, uh, you don't vibe, right? You're on a different wavelength or you simply feel like you've outgrown them. But again, with the Three of Wands and the Hermit, it feels as if you're just ready to move on to something new. You're ready for something different. You're starting new, something new very soon, but it just feels like in the meanwhile, you're just feeling withdrawn or just feeling like I'd rather spend time alone in my hermit mode. And I'm hearing stay focused on you. It feels like a lot of you um, just need to kind of do you at this point and not allow other sort of low vibrational energies or difficult people you're dealing with to get the best of you. With the lovers to begin. I'm hearing you're loved and you have no idea. It feels like at times it's kind of overshadowed by certain negative negative energies or negativity in your life um sometimes your own mindset or you forget that people want to take care of you or are there for you in the end and i'm feeling like a lot of you kind of have lost that sort of love for your own life and it's time for you to to see things in a positive light again to uh, bring it back to an optimistic way of being when the emotions come to be, let it go. It feels like a lot of the times your emotions get the best of you, or you feel as if someone just kind of pushes your button and your emotions kind of pour over it, right? It feels like when you're wrapped up with the right energies, when you wrap yourself up with the right environments, the right situations, or you simply allow yourself to maintain a positive mindset, you glow, you shine on a different level. And so uh, there's a need to kind of reevaluate who you're wrapping yourself up with. And it feels like a lot of you uh, get on edge or a little bit nervous or down when it comes to certain people in your life. For some of you, it's your parents. For some of you, it's a relationship or friends or even coworkers. But at the same time, you just need to realize that there are changes on the horizon uh, that'll help you love your life again or uh, just view things in a more positive light. Page of Cups. The new, something fresh on the horizon, whether it's a new relationship, 
new friendships, uh, a new job, uh, a new living situation I'm hearing, is going to allow you to feel fresh and new. It's going to help you feel more like yourself again or help you dis uh, continue that discovering process, you know, discovering oneself. And I'm hearing you have no idea how guided you are. These are coming through as your spirit guides looking over you. Uh, for some of you, your past over loved ones, they don't always have to be. Or aren't always your past over loved ones, but either way, it, you're protected, you're guided. And it feels like that's a reminder you need at this time as you get ready to make certain changes and adjustments or get ready to let go of certain energies that just aren't healthy for you. Or for some of you, you need to understand that you can minimize someone's role in your life or multiple people's role in your life without having to cut them out altogether. You'll see a lot of butterflies as well. Excuse the background noise, but it feels quite necessary for this reading, given once again, I feel like a lot of you are dealing with noisy energies, people, or a noisy environment. I'm hearing wow too much, and it's like, you just need to keep away from me, you're too much to handle, you're yelling too much, or you're too noisy, or your energy is just setting me off track, or making me feel uncomfortable. Some of you are empathic, and that's, uh, it's just, it's hard to pick up on those energies and want to spend time with them or it just feels like why would you want it's you kind of being like well why would you expect me to want to spend time with you with, with you treating me like that or with your energy being so uh overwhelming interesting and and i'm seeing this here it's like you just sort of being like uh yeah enough going back to the overall message excuse me will you just leave me alone and we're moving on to the fool And allowing yourself to take a leap of faith towards something new when the time comes. It feels like a lot of you are being pushed by spirit in the universe to do just that. You might feel like you just get so nervous and on edge. And it all just kind of reminds you what's not working in your life. But I understand that that is purposeful. I'm hearing you're not listening and some of you ignore certain synchronicities or messages coming through from spirit in the universe. Or it feels like there's somebody in your life you're just purposely not listening to because they stress you out or put you on edge and I'm feeling like the background noise is putting me on edge purposely because I was too calm uh, for this reading. Allowing yourself to kind of dance with life, you know, try to enjoy it more. I'm being drawn to these kind of like confetti down here if you want to call it that and it feels like you need to celebrate more, right? Even if things aren't perfect right now, they're going to improve. Feeling like a lot of you are becoming more in touch with your chart, with the placements and how they affect you and better understanding oneself once again. Part of that discovery process. I meant to mention before, if you don't already, make sure to watch the other signs within your chart for more messages. But again, I'm being drawn to the butterfly in both images here. And then they're, where are they? Up here as well. So um, moving on, we have the King of Wands. I also feel like you'll be very drawn to the moon, the stars, um, astrology in general. Sit back in your throne, allow for yourself to manifest. It, it feels like at times you're a bit feisty or overly serious or just like you bring out the worst side of me. So I'm just trying to figure out how to proceed from here. Uh, how much of a role, you're, if any, you're going to have in my life. And allowing yourself to remember that at times you can take that feistiness that comes over you or the overly serious kind of way of being and translate it into something creative or positive uh, or simply just take a step back once again. Don't feel guilty when you do so and be within your own energy, your hermit mode and allow yourself to do something that's healthy for you that switches your energy up, you know, shake it off. This morning I was dancing and singing when I was feeling frustrated or annoyed with some spiritual things I've been dealing with. And energies around me and it helps so much i felt more relaxed i put essential oils on and i did a little dance you know stuff like that some of you won't want to do that but it's up to you to kind of find your own way to shake that overly serious mood off or just accept that things will change again soon enough things are about to align for you but it feels like you're very stiff at this time uh, feeling a bit tense i need to cleanse your energy or just um find a way to release the tension in your body Right? Some of you need a massage. And wrap yourself up with nature as well. I feel like that'll be very beneficial for you at this time. The two of pentacles. Sorry, three. 
you might just feel like at times you struggle so much but it's like then it's always those moments when people notice you and it's like well, why aren't you noticing me when i am doing well or when i'm doing things uh, perfectly or at least attempting to stay focused on what's right for you what the changes you want to develop in your life moving forward and you'll allow for the attention to be more consistent and it feels like at times again you get the attention when you don't want it but then uh, moving forward you'll get the right attention they feel like things kind of just happen perfectly or at the right time you'll notice that um for some of you it will feel a little bit off but moving forward you'll find that you get a lot of attention especially from uh, people that you haven't been speaking to as much. For some of you, an ex-lover. Allow for the love that flows back into your life to inspire you to view things in a better manner, in a more positive light, and to sort of accept certain emotions that come to be as a healing process, right? Not to sort of overthink them or let them uh, escalate to an overwhelming state of being. You're loved once again and it feels like that love comes through and more of like a uh, we're noticing the changes you're making, we're noticing you improving oneself and we're proud of you. And it feels like for some of you, it's somebody from the past or multiple people and it's like, no, 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 you are a noisy or stressful part of my past where you left for a reason. I'm getting ready to get rid of other people or minimize the role in my life so I'm not bringing people back. Some of you will be welcoming it. But at the same time, it's even people in your present day situation who are just like, wow you're starting fresh you're doing things right some of you being noticed for your spiritual connection and allowing for yourself to not to not uh, drift too much from where you're trying to head or what you're trying to achieve at this time the completion of certain goals given uh, all this attention and people popping up from the past and it all can just kind of send you in this bit of a whirlwind and be a bit distracting uh, so just don't allow it to derail you from certain uh, the direction you're trying to head in at this time and it feels like some of you are kind of displaying something, putting something up on social media or displaying your art or your work in general. And again, that's going to receive a lot of attention. Eight of the Swords. And so moving forward, it purposely Spirit Universe is going to highlight uh, all of the situations in your life. Some of you is just one big situation that's leaving you feeling trapped or restricted. Too much, too too much, too overwhelming. Just leave me alone. You feeling like once again, you're feeling restricted and annoyed by those energies or that situation or both. And be aligned with the Fool card, it's you sort of being pushed to remember that taking leap of faith when the time is right for you, which is so soon it feels, is going to allow you to break free of those restrictions, those limitations, and those energies that are just so damn annoying or just rude in general. And allowing yourself to remember that everything's just going to kind of come together perfectly. But you have to kind of hang in there and uh, remember that you things aren't going to stay the same, basically. And being aligned with the King of Wands, don't allow yourself to get nervous. Bring that confidence back when someone sort of tries to uh, strip it away from you. Or it just feels like your emotions take over. And allowing yourself to remember that... Your way of being is right for you and you're still trying to figure it out and that's it's okay and allow yourself to enjoy the process along the way as you sort you try to uh, make adjustments once again certain changes to benefit your life and you're just like can you just please leave me alone wow and with that said and done i hope this reading was truly helpful as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And don't you dare forget to reach out for a personal reading. I am wishing you nothing but the best, sending you love and light at this time, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Pisces.